vibrant flavors and traditions of Mexico come together at the Chino. And we want to highlight this modern Mexican restaurant you can find in Midtown. And for what's on the menu, we have Stephanie Duran. Oh, thank you. So my name is Ricardo, but we have today for you guys a traditional dish called aguachile. Uh -huh. um, originally, it's done with raw shrimp marinated in lime juice. Mm. Oh. Our yes, our mm -hmm. take on it is with fluke. So we marinate okay. the fluke in lime juice, and then our broth is a citrus-based broth with blood orange, orange, lime, and then we have some radish, some onions, our avocado puree, and then some nice flowers for decoration. Ricardo, the presentation is just beautiful. You're also a very young visionary here as the executive chef. Yes, yes, I'm uh, just turned 23 a few weeks ago. Happy birthday. Wow. Yeah. Nicely done. So, I, so how do you get to be executive chef at such a young age? Well, you know, it takes a lot of work. Uh, I've been working since a very young age. I, bet. I started in restaurants as soon as I legally could, and then I quickly moved up along the uh -huh. ranks. Um, young sous chef. Yes, at young PF sous chef at PF Chang's. In history. In history. Yeah. 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 And now, you know, we're just trying to do something really great at Vecino. Let's yeah. let's talk about the drinks because mm -hmm. they look amazing. We've got. I mean, this has got a little espresso in it too. Yes. To yes. keep us up. And this is mezcal not tequila. Mezcal not tequila. So okay. this is a drink that we'll be slinging today at our Cinco de Mayo party on our patio. It's be called a picoso. Uh, use uh, guadajillo peppers in it to add a little bit of spice. It's kind of like dipping your toe into the the pool of spice, not diving all the way in. Okay. Right? Uh, but we use lemon, real agave uh, nectar for uh, a little bit of sweetener. Uh, we have a, a chili salt rim and then oh. a, a little bit of cucumber to cool it down if you need it. Uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe <laughs> a few more cucumbers. Yeah, 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 are, right? yeah. What is the inspiration behind mm -hmm. uh, some of these amazing concoctions? Because they seem different. Yeah. Yeah. So what we're really trying to do is take traditional Mexican dishes and elevate them. Uh, Detroit really hasn't seen a vision like that, and we are also doing our own nixtamalization in-house. Mm. So it's all heirloom corn from Mexico that we nixtamalize in-house, and we grind it in-house to create a fresh tortilla, fresh totopos, tlayudas, sopes, and tostadas as well. Yes. As authentic as it gets. Yes. Is your mouth watering? Sure. It sounds, it sounds <laughs> awesome. Talk a little bit about the, the idea behind the preparation for a holiday that's this big for this community. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you just kind of hit it on the top of the head. It's all about the community. Uh, vecino means neighbor in Spanish, um, and that's really what we're trying to bring to our community as a neighborhood spot while elevating our type of food and our cocktails and our uh, beverage program. But Today is all about our community and partying with our community. Having some fun. Yes, yes. exactly. How much does it mean to you to uh, be a part of the community, live there, have yeah. a restaurant there, and also be able to celebrate with the folks who live there? Yeah, I mean, for me personally, my dad grew up in Mexican town in Detroit, graduated from Cas Tech. So to be able to bring something to the Cas corridor where yeah. you know he lived, he worked, uh, he studied is really cool. I know Ricardo has a ton of ties as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, it's a blessing to be here and just be able to do everything that we're trying to do and show for the community and just have a great time with them and everything you know so. oh, it's gonna be a great day today can't wait to see all the outfits and all the drinks and the food we've got information up on your screen right now the Latin inspired restaurant and bar Vecino located in Midtown of course a fusion of modern Mexican cuisine I think there's gonna be a lot of folks who are heading out today we yes. got a party somewhere so yeah absolutely why We're not ready for you. yeah, right, yeah. Definitely. Come on by. all right guys <laughs> thanks for coming in thank of you course. so much